Welcome back, YouTube. We're back in the <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry for that one. I, just, I still gotta be careful. I still gotta look cold. My cough is finally going away. It's weakening. It's weakening. But today we are back with Saitama versus Popeye. And I'm glad somebody sent me this because I wanted to do a reaction to this. I actually saw this and then I forgot about it because I've been working a lot and my mom's been sick and I'm going through a whole little crisis right now. So I got so many videos. I got a, I got a, I got a depression video coming out. I'm working on that video. And then I got another video. Well, three videos y'all gonna love. Got Aizen versus Mada. Why I think Mada win, should win. And I got another video of, well, Popeye. And then I got a Gohan video coming out tonight as well. So, oh, uh, that battle did Popeye versus Saitama. Now, I wonder what all the Saitama fans going to say now. What are they going to be like, oh, man, that's not fair. He's a Toon character. But didn't you just say Saitama power is a gag, right? When it makes sense for him to fight. Popeye. Now, you got to stay true to, you gotta stay true to your story now, y'all. What happened? Anyways, I'm late on this one, too. But you got it. You're here now. So we're gonna check this reaction out. I'm gonna give y'all my honest thoughts about it and I'm gonna tell you why. This is gonna be fun. It's actually gonna be one of the funniest ones. It's in a high Aw man, the scrap's always so oh, expensive. Eh, no thanks. I'm not gonna have to watch all this stuff, so. Put him up, yes, big palooka. Whatever. We just tore up the whole grocery store. Well, blow me down. You ain't got a scratch on yous. I know, right? Overwhelming strength is so boring. I can't read that. <laughs> this song that Popeye would say, I can't read that. It just makes sense. <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, here it comes. I already knew this was going By the way, I was a huge Popeye fan growing up as a kid. I used to always watch Popeye as a kid. I was like six, seven years old. So I tell him it's like, what? Ugh, what? That was gonna be over? Uh, a little bit more interesting now. Right in the nuts. for fun. Who the hell are you? Yep. I am what I am. And that's all what I am. Uh, hey, you know, Bucky. Bucky. Oh, breaking the fourth wall and shit with him. <laughs> Technically, Saitama could do that one arm, but I'll let it slide. <laughs> Oh my god. Why does he look like that? Oh my goodness. Hey yo. Hey my mama. Ooh, to the juke they just destroyed Jupiter. Uh oh, so I thought it's like getting mad now. Yeah. Finish. 
Stay down for that one. Amazing! This is amazing! How did you get so strong? I eat to be spinach. Oh. Ah. I already knew Papa won once he said, I eat some spinach. Can this be? My heart's beating so fast. My muscles ache. I can feel them again. He jumped off his spine. Cause I can't stand. He can do no that. I mean, it's funny. It's like Tom is just not funny. A serious fight. I found it. <laughs> Thank you. Weird spinach mascot. RP Saitama fans. A lot of people say this fight wasn't even fair. He's a freaking tune character. But you just call Saitama a gag character. And my Goku, Goku, why Goku beat Saitama? They gave me negative comments about it. Like, the only one thing I'll say about this one, I'm actually curious. I can't wait to post this. KO! Well, I guess you could say that fight was over easy. Wait, except isn't Saitama's whole gag that he can't lose? It is, but it's more nuanced than that. Despite breaking his limiter, Saitama's strength isn't limitless. He's said so himself. Breaking his limiter meant his potential strength was likely infinite, but there's nothing left in his world powerful enough to push him to get stronger, like a bodybuilder stuck with five pound dumbbells. He also doesn't possess some magical ability to kill someone in one punch regardless of effort. Powerful adversaries like Boros and Garo have survived his blows repeatedly, albeit briefly, and he's never met anyone quite like Popeye the Sailor Man. According to the mangaka, One Punch Man's gag is that Saitama is an anime protagonist at the end of his series, right slapped in at the beginning of his series, where he's too strong to have a challenge. So, if we know Saitama's strength does have a limit, what is it? We know he can deflect Boros' planet-destroying blast, but he was clearly super casual about it. He may have called it his serious punch, but that's the joke. He's only now getting kind of serious. In order to get as generous a number as possible, let's assume Saitama was exerting the least amount of effort he could to throw that punch. Since he's still technically a human, we can assume the ratio between the least amount of effort possible and the most is relatively consistent with other humans. Let's just say he burned the equivalent of only one calorie relative to the strongest punch ever recorded, which was over 1,000 joules. For reference, the average person burns about one calorie a minute doing absolutely nothing. So this is assuming Saitama is literally as casual as physically possible. That'd make his strongest punch about 200 times greater than his weakest. Using Boros' energy blast as a base, Saitama's theoretical strongest punch would be over 11 Yoda tons of TNT. That's absolutely insane, enough to annihilate Uranus four times over. Well, that's impressive, but that's still far less than Popeye's star-busting power, which was millions of times greater. Sure, this is only an estimate. We don't know Saitama's full strength exactly, but the point is, whatever it may be, it can be measured. That's right, but trying to compare them with just numbers isn't the whole story. While Saitama can break his world fairly easily, it's still a semi-realistic world that generally obeys the laws of physics. Popeye and his world, on the other hand, can't really be measured at all. The dudes occupied two places at the same time, ripped the film strip he's animated on, and knocked out the guy drawing him. Can't do math to figure that out. Popeye is just on a whole other level of bullshit. Even if Saitama was strong enough to kill Popeye in one punch, Popeye has survived being fully disintegrated, only to recover good as new. Help God turned off all of reality and Popeye just ignored it. And on the flip side, there was nothing stopping Popeye from just turning Saitama into a bunch of eggs which he can do without spinach. So even if Popeye was weaker, he'd still have a way to finish the job in one punch. Saitama was easily one of the strongest combatants we've ever seen, but pure strength was no match for Popeye's insane power, survivability, and plain old cartoon shenanigans. If you thought nothing could match the One Punch Man, now you know Popeye's spinach can. The winner is Popeye. Yeah, I have it.
There y'all have it. And I'm pretty sure people be like, oh man, that's a tune. And, and so I told him, he's a guy character. He's not meant to be taken serious. But Popeye's not meant to be taken serious. You just saw what happened, right? And I, they, I think they did this fight before the new chapter of uh, Saitama even came up. But either way, he still would have lost to Popeye. And even if Pop, even if Saitama got stronger from fighting Popeye, he still wouldn't be able to kill him. <laughs> he literally cannot die. And, Sa and Popeye has defeated two gods. He He's beat the writer, the person who's writing and drawing him, the, the creator himself. And he's also beat the god in his own world. He turned off all reality and said, nah, you know what? I'm going to just ignore and walk up to this dude like a G. So, y'all want overpower stuff? They get y'all overpower stuff. You know, you want to keep talking about how powerful Saitama is? Look, people are now going to say, well, he can't beat Popeye. And Popeye's a cartoon character. Goku still can beat him too, but I think the same thing will happen with Goku in the same way that Goku can just Hakai him. And be done with it or goku can just seal him away you know and they even said to themselves that they don't know if saitama's measuring strength which is why i don't watch death Battle when they do dragon ball z fight because they don't really know the levels of goku and all the characters in the show how strong they can get so i don't know but what i do know is papa saitama's getting that butt beat by goku and papa <laughs> I think Goku would actually train with Papa to get stronger. I don't even think Papa would kill because he think Goku is a comedian because the way Goku acts is so funny. But anyways, you guys, make sure y'all drop a like, subscribe to the channel, turn that notification bell on, and make sure you like and share it to your friends because I know y'all finna eat this, so y'all gonna love these two videos that just posted. And then the Gohan video, I got posted right after this. So I'll catch you guys later, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Welcome back YouTube. Welcome back to Blitz Way YouTube channel. Today y'all might see my stream layout a little bit different. But hey, it's it's right here. This is my new stream layout. Uh I hope you guys like it and enjoy it. Um uh, today we're reacting to the Black Moth Wukong 8 minute gameplay trailer 4K RTA, which is the graphics card I have <laughs> in my PC. Uh I have the the old well not an old old version but it's a decent model but uh yeah let's check this uh song kong out i can't believe i missed this though somebody had tweeted me this i got i need to stop paying more attention to my tweets sorry the people who follow me on twitter appreciate that follows on twitter you guys Right, that's why someone Kong can transform to anything. Insects, bugs. Ooh.